Welcome back, everyone. Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys news update. Very excited to talk about these. We have some brand new, the new Batman Adventures action figures. I say the new, new Batman Adventures to differentiate what came before with DC Collectibles. Now we're getting reissues through McFarlane Toys X. DC Direct. So kind of breaks it up, kind of makes it a lot more manageable when talking about it because a lot of people were kind of upset. They were saying, well, uh, well, my old ones are not going to be worth much anymore. Unfortunately, and I'm going to do my best, we're going to keep an open mind here, but I don't think for those of you who collected the old ones are going to have to really worry about these new ones, if at all. There's some things, there's some wonk, there's some, well, I wish... That was painted or maybe had that accessory. When I grew up with what Kenner did with the Batman adventures and the Batman, the animated series and everything else, the one thing that always stood out to me was that it was never really all that on model. Some figures, some characters fared a whole lot better than others. Let's give credit where credit is due. But I grew up in that area where it was just like new cartoon Here's action figures. We're going to do this, and that's all there is. That's all there is to it. It's not like today where multiple companies make multiple versions of all these different characters that we love. That being said, what we're going to talk about here today is, in a way, putting me back in that sense because, as it is my fault and my fault alone, I didn't collect when DC Collectibles put these out originally. I had the old Kenner ones, and I had the, what Mattel did, and everything else, and Hasbro, for instance, when they were all kind of making them all at once, kind of swapping out the license. But yes, to go back now, they're pretty expensive. They're a pretty penny to grab all these old characters. So when McFarlane Toys announced them, I was like, oh, sweet, this is going to be great. I'll just grab them now. And they're a little bit more malleable. They're not as fragile as the old ones were, so that's another plus, even though, yes, they are fragile, as opposed to these ones being a little bit more, you can pose them out, have some fun with them, and not worry about anything breaking, for the most part. So that's a good, good element to these newer ones. But as you'll soon see, it's missing the core elements of each of these characters. It's like part of me is like, well, what's the point? But yes, they do look good. And yes, I'm a huge fan of Batman, the animated series and the new Batman Adventures. So it's nice to have these characters, but not done in a way where you're feeling like, oh, well, they could have put a little bit more oomph into it. You'll soon see exactly what I am talking about. But in the meantime, as always, if you're interested in anything we're talking about here today, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you so much for using my links. It helps the channel to grow, yada, yada. Usually when these go up for pre-order, you'll see them, and these will go everywhere. They're not going to be Target exclusive like the Batman the Animated Series, but you see them within a couple months, one, two, three months, something like that. So hopefully you have them in hand before the end of summer into fall. So just before we get started, for those of you not familiar, Batman the Animated Series was a big staple back in the day in the 90s. Then it ended. They brought in Superman the Animated Series on Kids WB, and then Kids WB said, hey, we want some more Batman animated episodes as well. So they went back, revamped it. All the characters got an overhaul and design, and it was fantastic. I loved seeing the reveal of these new designs. I was blown away as a kid. I love the new angular designs. It was a lot of fun. As I say now, while I still love the show, it didn't really hit as hard as Batman the Animated Series did. They have a lot of great episodes in that newer series, but if you look at it in totality, you go, wow, that was weird. That was a weird change. So it holds up, but at the same time, as you get older, you go, that's a really weird choice. <laughs> So first and foremost, we have Selena Kyle, Catwoman. Catwoman, as she was basically all in gray with a whip, and she consistently had ISIS, so they were getting into troubles and battling Batman, and he's going back and forth like, oh, man, is she a criminal? I don't know. They just clad her all in black, and they left the mouthpiece open on her mask, which gave her like a gray-bluish kind of hue, and I'm glad to see that they've kept that. They have everything intact in terms of this new, new Batman Adventures Catwoman design. She has a ton of hands. She looks 
pretty darn cool. She comes with Isis. That's a nice touch. What would be the main weapon accessory that any Catwoman should come with? Hold on. I'll give you a second to think about it. Time's up. A whip. This Catwoman doesn't come with her whip. How? How does that happen? Where is the accessories with all those hands, as we discussed with the Joker? And and really, the Batman animated line, it needs to find its footing. Now, I understand maybe molds and such don't exist anymore. We can't make a whip? A whip for a Catwoman? Come on. That's, that's bizarre. That is bizarre, especially at the price point that these are at. Now, mind you, keep in mind as well, you go back and you get the full-fledged figure the DC Collectibles did. Yeah, it's a pretty penny. But which would you rather have at this point? A cat one with no whip. It just has the cat. Comes with a bevy of extra hands, which, okay. <laughs> cool. And then she has the new Batman Adventures stand, which works. The new New Batman Adventures line does not get a Build-A-Figure within them, which is kind of a bummer. I would prefer that. Instead, they get a reproduction cell of the animated series. When I first did the video on the first wave, a lot of people were like, wow, this is awesome. I'm jazzed about this. And yeah, it's okay. It's a cool pack. And I would always prefer a build a figure if I'm going to be getting the entire wave. So these ones tend to be more kind of, yeah, maybe I'll hold off until a sale on these, to be honest with you, because it's just incredibly lackluster. And again, I don't feel like I'm nitpicking this. This is like a common sense kind of thing. If you gave me a figure and you go, hey, make a cat woman. Okay. Extra hand. Sure. Give her a cat. Yeah. And a whip. That's really all you need. You could do unmasked, you could do different expressions all day long, but not having a whip come with a Catwoman, that's, uh, that's bizarre. Even Kenner knew what to do back in the day. Now, story-wise, in terms of what they did with Selina Kyle, this go-around for the new Batman adventures, she, in one particular episode, had her sights set on Dick Grayson Nightwing. It was more of a setup. She's just messing with him, kind of sort of to get under Batman's cape a little bit. But I'm happy to say Dick Grayson Nightwing will be the second figure in this new new Batman Adventures line. I would say, honestly, in looking at this figure, uh, he fares a lot better in terms of the accessories, the overall look. One thing that always confused me about when DC Collectibles did this is that the Bruce Tim designs were very sleek. I should say Bruce Tim, Paul Dini, everybody, everybody that it was involved, but mainly Bruce Tim uh, when you talk about the artwork. But it was very streamlined. It's not a, a Nightwing design that's risen above. It's not sculpted above. It's not something that drapes over his chest. It's part of the costume. He's wearing a bodysuit, basically. So when DC Collectibles, and now McFarlane Toys with DC Direct, as they're reissuing it, I still think that that's kind of an odd choice that it's raised. It just looks weird, whereas... Kenner, Hasbro, they did the old new Batman adventures, and it was exactly what it was. It's just part of the costume. So that's my nitpickery right there, but it's fine. It looks good in and of itself. He comes with Nightwing binoculars. He comes with his Nightwing orang, and he comes with a bunch of extra hands. You could say that he kind of comes with a stick because the stick for the stand, so that would kind of work in terms of a Robin baton kind of thing not really but hey you could fudge that in there if you wanted to use it as such so this one fares a lot better in terms of the catwoman figure i think that yes there's enough accessories to be like okay one thing i would have liked to have seen would be attachments for his flight suit i think that that would have been a nice add-on to this and again i don't know why they didn't do that or kind of add to these, right? I know a lot of it, you're just going, oh, it's just reissued. You're just taking what was before and re putting it back out there. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but I mean, can we get a little bit more thought put into this? A little bit, just a little teeny tiny bit also comes with the reproduction cell. So much like Catwoman, if Nightwing be desired, you can pre-order him down below now we have the Joker, the redesigned Joker, the Joker with the two white eyes and no red lips. Again, as I always bring up in these videos when I talk about anything Batman animated or TNBA, 
that was a big point of contention back in the day where they redesigned the Joker and everyone was mad they didn't have the red smile. I liked that as a kid, as I've gotten older, and then they had the redesign for, let's say, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. That design fared so much better, and as they kind of went on with Justice League, Justice League Unlimited, kind of taking this Joker and adding to it. I always thought just the black with the white eyes was very creepy, but yes, I miss the red smile. I think that that works, but in the oversimplified versions of the TNBA, it did work, and it worked for back in the day. So I'm torn. I like it. I don't like it. You get the idea. It's fine for what it is. But what's not fine for what it is is that the Joker comes with nothing but two hyenas. He's got Bud and Lou. He's got his boys with him. That's fine. That's great. Let me ask you a question. What's something that the Joker could come with? Now, keep in mind, we're still being treated like children by Warner Brothers in the sense we can't have... Spooky guns. Now, I'm not a big fan of guns myself, but when it comes to characters and action figures, yeah, it, it's totally cool. It's just this make-believe world. A gun would have been nice for the Joker. I understand, but at the same time, it's it's getting really antiquated here. It's like, Warner Brothers, you're killing us here. You're treating us all like we're children. Now, I know you could say also that, well, we're a bunch of grown children collecting action figures, so that argument aside... We'll be okay, especially if these are going mainly online, game stops. Come on, it's the adult collector. Let's see some weapons put in this box because you got a ton of extra hands again. No playing cards, no Joker fish, no wallet with money like in Joker's millions. Nothing. It's just two hyenas, which I guess I will admit that's a nice pack into the box, but the Joker is just there. <laughs> There you go, folks. The Joker, the redesign. Although I do like that they screen grabbed this old cell when he's found out that King Barlow left him all those millions. That was a great episode. I really enjoyed that. So again, if you want him, you can pre-order him down below. Now, we got Bane. Bane. Very cool redesign, I thought, as a kid. And then you look at it, you're like, that is very dominatrix, very much the gimp from Pulp Fiction, very much less wrestler this time around, luchador kind of thing. Here's my main gripe with my main man, Bane. He's missing a lot of paint here. If you look at his gauntlets, now, the Venom control side, that matches. Sure, we'll go with that. He doesn't have the red Venom line anymore that hooks into his head from his device that goes into his head, which is a really, you know, you got to think about this, Bane. How many times has Batman defeated you by pulling that thing out or smashing the controls or overloading you? You know what I mean? Stop having that as a visible wire, man. You got to cut that out. But I digress. The gauntlets, especially on the other non-Venom handed sign, is just gray. It should be Black with the spikes. Overall, in totality, it's a good-looking figure. It's a good, well-designed Bane in terms of the old Bruce Tim style. But those are elements where I go, you got to give us some more paint here, McFarlane Toys. What are you doing? What are you thinking? It's incomplete. It looks like they just, there you go. We, we did half the work. If you want it painted, you, you can do it yourself. He's got all those extra hands. No crushed up battering. No broken part of the bat signal to throw at Batman. He's got the pole for the stand, of which you could whack Batman a few times. But nothing. Nothing in the box. It's kind of a bummer. Extra heads. Something where he's screaming or, you know, he's being electrocuted like in that uh, the what if kind of line when Batgirl was hallucinating. Things like that really make a difference to collectors like me. I know I'm a dying breed, but I know there's a lot of you out there that really like this kind of stuff, and I know you'd like to see it. So in this wave, while you went from, yeah, it's a pretty good wave one, this one leaves a lot to be desired. Sure, you got the right characters, and you got villains and such. We're continuing on, but it leaves a lot, a lot to be desired, unfortunately. So... Them's my two cents for the new, new Batman Adventures by McFarlane Toys XDC Direct. And I would honestly tell you, if you are a stickler like me, well, 
Maybe go for the original releases. You could probably find them on Mercari or eBay or something like that. I'm sure someone out there has them. If you don't care about any of this stuff, you can pre-order them all down below. Mind you, as much as I've nitpicked the heck out of these things, I am grabbing them. So that's one thing. But at the same time, they're nice to have on your shelf, but they're missing a lot here. There, it's 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 a bummer. It really is. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. The new Batman Adventures. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, what did you think about the redesign back in the day? If you grew up with the cartoon, you read Wizard Magazine, you saw the redesigns, what were your first thoughts? I'm curious to see what people thought back then. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.